And a good Wednesday morning, everybody. Happy Veterans Day. Big salute to all of the veterans out there. And uh, today is your day. I just wish it was a better one. Instead, we got off and on a rainfall. But this rain, not going to be here all day long, or at least not raining everywhere at every second of the day. We're going to see these little streaks of rain rolling through as a cold front marches slowly from west to east. That front now just outside the Mississippi River, and it will push through tonight with the rain finally coming to an end. Drier air comes in tomorrow and Friday. It won't be necessarily colder. It'll just feel a little bit better. But then another front comes in Sunday, and behind it will be a blast of cool air. Finally, we're starting to see more of those seasonable temperatures or even below average highs next Monday and Tuesday may only be in the upper 50s. So here's what we're going to be watching out for. They're off and on rain for the rest of today. And again, there'll be some breaks in there, but we're watching these little streaks of rain setting up. And if we get caught underneath one of these, you might easily pick up a good half an inch to an inch, while others may not see much at all. But overall, the rain coming to an end by this evening and into tonight from west to east. Overnight tonight, lows will dip down to around 60. Tomorrow will slowly become partly cloudy. I got a fear that some of these clouds might linger tomorrow morning. And then drier air moves in. Should feel a little bit more comfortable tomorrow. And then Friday, we fall back down to the 40s for lows and low 70s in the afternoon. And you can see what I mean by these streaks here. Some may not see much, others might pick up an inch and a half of rain. So something we'll watch. We also have Hurricane Ada that we're watching finally. The models have come together and suggesting a landfall north of Tampa tomorrow during the day and then moving out to sea and not bothering us. So that means the weekend will likely be dry. There's Friday, there's Saturday, Sunday a cold front comes in and that could give us a couple showers late Sunday afternoon. Right now I do not see that being that big of a deal. Somewhat humid now and thankfully feeling better tomorrow. We'll see a little more increase of a humidity on Sunday, but then along with the cooler air next week comes very dry air too. Highs by Monday and Tuesday, only around 60. Otherwise, around 70 the next couple of days with that umbrella needed for today.